My first memory as a child is when I was eight years old. My parents um, decided to get divorced right in front of me. And that is literally my first memory as a child. And so life for me was very broken. It was very difficult. I never really felt like I had purpose. I always felt disregarded, worthless, kicked aside. I hide behind my sense of humor a lot um, because I don't want people to see the real me. That's, that was my operating system. I felt like if anybody saw deep inside, they would, they would see how broken and how horrible I was. And I always looked to other people and thought like, like Greg and Don and people who were just, who, who exuded self-confidence. And, and I just thought, what do they have that I don't have? I, I was on this journey of trying to find out, you know, who, who am I and why do I hate that person so much? And what, what do I do to break free of that? I opened the door to, to, to God and I said, okay, Lord, there's things in my life that you definitely need to work on. Going through the RTF process definitely helped me in that, but I just still couldn't break free from this insecurity and the shame. And so I remember this past spring, we had um, our fasting and prayer nights, and I just was praying to God one night. The theme of it was, you know, God's vision, you know, personal vision, family vision, and, and, and corporate vision. And I just remember praying, Lord, I've never prayed for vision before. And I just was laying, sitting in my seat and just praying and pleading my heart and saying, God, give me vision for me. Give me vision for my family. Give me vision for what that looks like corporately. And it was like all of a sudden, like all this stuff just started popping. And I, I saw myself differently. And I saw, I saw myself, I feel the way that God would see me. And I saw my family the way that God sees my family and how that could work corporately. And I just remember stopping him with all of the things he was downloading to me and saying, God, wait, just like, like this is amazing. Like I've never, I've never felt this before. I've never seen what you've seen. And just, God, change me. God, change me. And it was almost like he said, change you. I don't want to change you. I want you to have a deeper revelation of who you are. And so like that just, it floored me. And I just went right into tears. And I just realized that, that who I am is who he says I am. And his truths trump my circumstances. I opened the door to God in that. And I said, okay, Lord, then who do you say that I am? And why is it that I don't like myself so much? And the, the theme of insecurity and shame kept coming up. And I was brought to this memory that I had that I didn't even know was legitimate. I actually had to confirm with my father if it was real and, and come to find out it was this counseling thing that I'd gone through and whatever and it was, a, it was a true occurrence of what took place and I just knew in my core that that was the moment when insecurity and shame was introduced into my life. And in this memory, in this vision, I just saw another version of myself speaking to me. You're broken, you're flawed, you're useless, you're worthless. And I believed that. I literally believed that until six or eight months ago. And I walked through that process. I, I introduced Christ into the situation and he just literally ripped insecurity and shame from my life and pinned it to a wall and said, this has no option but to die. I am the one that dictates the truth in your life, not your circumstances. It was like, I just felt so different after that. I felt like insecurity and shame no longer had hold of me. For the first time ever, I felt like a new creation in Christ. I felt like I saw myself the way my daddy sees me. If I adopt what he sees, then I can't help but love myself. So that's, I just walk in a freedom now that I've never walked in before.